Okay, this will be a quick video on how to set a static IP using, <clears throat> as it's abbreviately called, uh, a, a YAML file, in this case, uh, Ubuntu server. Um, so right now I have a DHCP address, uh, in this case 192.168.95.130. Uh, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my network over to the custom built one. By the way, I'm using VMware, but this is, this other than this part will matter what um, visor software you use. So I'm gonna switch to VMNet 16, which is the 10.161.0.0 uh, uh, network. Uh, so now that I've done that, uh, I do, if I do have an address, it's just my leftover address. I don't, uh, I cannot ping. I think I'm going to get a protocol failure. Yeah. Uh, so let me clear. Whoop. And I'll go back to the top. So let's go into the actual location of the YAML file, which would be, and I got to check my notes here. It's under ETC. Uh, it is static IP. Uh, there it is right there. ETC net plan. So. Uh, CD into ETC. I'm going to just go over there physically just to show you where it is instead of just uh, nanoing it from here. Uh, if I do a LS, you'll see net plan. So I'll CD into net plan. Uh, I can't uh, tap that out just yet because there's other things. If I do LS, I already have one on there in there. Um, and that's because I've already started typing out uh, one. Uh, I'm not going to sit through here and type one out for you the whole way. Um, there's a very specific format to it, so let's just get into it. Uh, I'm going to nano the 01. That's the one we want. Uh, so you're going to have to create that file. Oh, I didn't nano. Uh, name. I got the nano, and I got to sudo that, too. I forgot I'm in Ubuntu. Uh, so here's the actual format, all right? Uh, you're going to get network. Um, again, you can kind of do a search for uh, a Google search for YAML file. Uh, format. Um, <clears throat> this should be renderer, but I'm going to give an error, give myself an error. Okay, uh, I'm taking a non-specific IP address. This will not be what any of you have in the project, so do not set this actual IP address. In this case, I'm giving myself a um, uh, a uh, ten dot one sixty one dot zero dot one address, and what just kind of Actually, what catches my eye right now uh, is at no point do I specify a subnet mask. That seems wrong to me. So let me bring up the article that I personally found on the uh, web that I liked, which is from Tech Republic. Uh, it takes a while to load up when I click off a notepad. Um, unless I already have it up. I think that's it. Um, yeah, I got to put a slash on that. That's, I knew something was wrong. It doesn't make sense that you went to the slash. You, you need to know what network it is. Uh, so this would be a slash 26. That's um, it's a, I have 64 bit incre uh, in, uh, increment of networks. Uh, so I don't, uh, let me write that out. So I'm going to control O. I'm writing that out. I'm going to write that file. I'm going to hit exit. The next part of this is when you think you have it, and I'll bring my notes back up, is to uh, apply the net plan. So you do sudo. Let me clear again. So I'm bringing it up the same. Uh, sudo net plan uh, apply. Okay. Uh, and again, it's going to give me an error. So this is common. Uh, it's very uh, parsnickety as far as what um, uh, formats. T uh, by the way, tabs do not work. Just give you, uh, and I'll, I can prove it. So I'm going to write that. I'm making a change. I'm calling that renderer, which is what I should it should have been. Let me put this to the top of the screen again, um, and then I'm gonna apply it, and it applied. So I can confirm that by doing if config, and there I am. Now this particular network doesn't have internet, um, nor does it have any other addresses on here actually. Uh, so, uh, but everything looks right. I got the right broadcast and all that good stuff. Uh, let me give you a proof that. Um, so if I do a, a nano. Uh, this uh, and I go into um, I'm gonna put a tab in so right now this is space bar three times okay which is kind of primitive I agree it's not ideal if I put a tab if I change all those space uh, spaces the tabs 
you're going to actually see an error. Um, almost makes me want to back this up. But let's just do those first three. All right. Uh, you're going to see an error on version 2 because it's not going to like the tabbing. So if I control X and then I do a pseudo net plan apply. Yeah, see how in version 2 it says, uh, and then it says right down here, tabs are not allowed for indent. So that's pretty rock solid. Um, so uh, just be advised you can't use tabbing, which is uh, a bit primitive, but that's the way they rock. Uh, I just do three spaces. You don't have to. I like the look of it, so there's no good reason for it. Uh, you can do one space, uh, but they are really particular that there is spacing of some type, um, and um, it's not tabs. So uh, there you go. Uh, you edit that file. Again, you can edit that file at the root if you do. Uh, so let, let me bring the nano back up. Uh, and I'm going to do, it's under etc, uh, netplan, slash, and I can get to it. So I can edit that from the root. Um, and then... I net plan apply it, and as long as the formatting is correct, it's good. And you can do an if config to make sure, and you can ping your own address 10.161.0.1. Make sure you respond to yourself. Uh, there you go. So I've just set a static IP. All right. It's a quick little video. Uh, there's more to come, of course.